try. slim down so much okay what happened was about a few days ago Sally had a fever at night I'm not too sure the I vlog about that but you had your temperature went up to like 38.5 which is pretty high for my understanding as for a five months or coming to six months so we had the medication from the last visit so I gave you 2.5 milliliters and an hour so later your temperature went down so we are not very sure whether that is caused by your teething or you are just too warm or what could be other reasons but you were not fussing a lot or anything so we just have to take it that probably it's because of your teething because you already have two teeth right at the bottom jaw. So, and then suddenly on that very next day after you had your fever, your milk intake was almost lessened by half. Almost. Oh no, lessened by wanted. So... These are all the same symptoms you had when you were teething. So I tried to check your gum, whether it's swollen or anything, but I can't really figure it out. So I can just only take it that probably, uh, that you might be teething. That's what's the cause because um, fever and reduce in milk was what you had for the previous teething session but the very next day again you started to uh, poop three times to four times a day in that day and which is not a very you kind of thing because you probably you uh, poop only twice once in the morning and once in the late noon or at the late evening so three times in a day was a bit strange because uh, with your milk reduction and you put three times so but we, we, we still wasn't sure what could be the cause so we just have to observe with it is it just a lip week or something that you just kind of um, reduce your milk intake and that particular night, coming to the next following day, your milk intake dropped drastically to about 40 to 60 milliliter per feet. So, which means in 24 hours per day, your feeding, total feeding is only about 400 to 500 plus, which is really half of the amount that you are taking usually because currently you are taking about 900 to 8000 so this drop is too much so it's really alarming so we brought you to the pediatrician the very yeah. next day and we can see that your weight seems to drop 
but for us visually we can only guess but we have, wasn't too sure how much you have dropped so we brought you back and you weigh about 7.5 and you weigh 7.5 about two and a half weeks ago so which means actually you lost weight because in between we did try to weigh you once and you were about 7.7, 7, 7. 7.8 and now you're just 7.5 which means that you're losing weight so thankfully that we brought you to the PI day um, the doctor says that she can hear growling sound in your tummy and with the symptoms that we mentioned most probably you have some virus going on in your intestine and uh, st stomach so that because you are too young to take much of other medication to sup suppress the pain so she what she gave you was um a stronger in dose or dosage of um, probiotics and some painkiller thing so mix them together and we will feed you 30 minutes before your milk time so that when you're drinking milk you don't feel much um, pain when it like growls and everything so you can drink slightly more and she says you are probably in the mid or coming to the end of the whole virus thing because usually virus takes about seven days to get off your body and you have been pooping like two to three times a day since then. So I think you are getting the virus out of your body too. So, And the great thing is you still look very uh, alert and playful. So that's the only thing that we could rely on to see if you're still in a good condition. Yeah, so um, today is the very second day after the doctor visit. So you have two dosage of the medication. Yesterday you drank slightly more, but this morning you are back to square one. So hopefully... In the midst of the day, it will be better because <coughs> we also have to stop your puris for the time being until you are much better. If um, three days later, um, your food intake doesn't start increasing, then we have to bring you back for another consultation. So, yeah, so that is the update until now. So, I will update again soon. So, today is really the fourth day since you are not feeling well. You had your medic, the medication was for three, roughly three days. So, yesterday was the, yesterday night was the last dosage. So, finger cross, um, Till yesterday night, your feeding is still about 760 ml, which is just enough to support your current weight. So by today, you are drinking about, by this point of time, is about near 3 p.m. Um, and you're drinking about, this to this point is about 500. So if really going at this rate, you should be able to drink up to about 800 ml, which is slightly above what your current weight is, which is the best. Um, because I've tried to read and research a lot online, so there's no definite answer like how much does a 5 months or 6 months baby should eat. But I do read that it's good that um, they at least have to drink about 20% more than their weight so in a sense that if you are like 500, 5 kilograms so you should be drinking at least 5.5 5. 5. so 550 ml something like that so previously when you are like 
uh, about 6 kg you always drink about near 700 and when you are near 7 kg you're always drinking at about 820 so and you always fall into the 60 to 70 percentile so i think that kind of calculation seems to work which means whatever your current weight is and you just add a bit of 20 to 30 percent then um, usually if your output is not as high you should fall between the 16 a uh, 60 to 8 uh, 70 percentile which is just good for us because i carry you for most of the nap time so like just now from 11 i have been carrying you till 2 p 2 30 so i just put you down okay so you might be wondering why you are in <laughs> such thick clothing we were out earlier to um pass something to a friend mommy's not really mommy's friend but someone we know so um after we came well, on our way back, you fell asleep, so I decided to just keep you this way and not wake you up because you didn't have a morning, because that is equivalent to your morning and noon nap because usually you have them. Uh, you, up to this point, you still have about three naps a day, but uh, most probably the night nap is a bit gray area. Sometimes you took it, sometimes you don't. It also depends on your daddy's schedule because usually your daddy is at home at night you don't take a nap but if your daddy is like working at night time usually around six you will take a nap for about 30 to 40 minutes or so and then you wake up near seven and then you will go back to sleep at about 10 not 10 about 9 30 so now currently most most of the time you're sleeping is we will start prep you at about 8.50 and then you will go into sleep by 9.15 or so yeah so good thing now you are taking a nap on your own so that's how mommy is able to catch up on this vlog because I've been trying to do this but um, but we have been very busy these few days even with, with you being, being sick so I think you also watched the video that came up earlier than this is the Radon so is concurrently together so the radon um, is also when you were sick so you might see a lot of overlaying uh, scenes and things like that or clothing so, okay so that's the reason so I'm still hoping today with the medication you will carry on with what you are drinking now and another a day or two if there's no um, finger cross nothing special coming up then i should be safe to say that you have recovered because this coming uh saturday is actually um the reception new year reception which is uh, kind of important for mommy because there's like only one year twice and i really love to bring you there but if you are quite sicky then definitely i'm not able to go because i didn't I won't want to risk somebody else's child or risking you um, getting any um, other virus when your body is still so weak so hopefully by today is Thursday so today tomorrow if you are doing good you are slowly picking up because today according to the rate you are already starting to pick up a little bit on your milk intake so by tomorrow if you are able to take uh, slightly more than what you have today then i'm safe to say you are good okay so i think i will end the update right here so hope you will nap for another 20 minutes or so and that will end your afternoon nap so i'll end the vlog here and then